Yes, I'm Camilla and I'm P6 now. Uh, I study at SNA and today seems to be like I don't know, 11 January 2015. And today I'm gonna show you how to control an Android device from PC or vice versa. It actually works. So as you can see now, I have Team Viewer in both my Android device and my PC. Uh, those are there. I like you need three three Team Viewer stars for PC, but you also need but you also need only two of the one on the Android. To actually go and find Team Viewer on Android, you should go to Google Play Store. And as you shall see, just search Team Viewer. There. Search Team Viewer and you can find both of them on, on number one and number two, just download them. You need Team Viewer for remote and also Team Viewer quick support for the for the Android. And also download one of the add-ons for your device. Like for example, Samsung. My Samsung, so I can use the one for that. And also for PC. Now you need to go to www.teamviewer.com slash and slash download windows.espx And you can now see, uh, you need to download in case yours like Mac, Linux, mobile, you gotta click one of those, but mine's Windows, I'm just gonna stick with Windows. So here you need to download full version Windows here, all in one, full version, and also you need to download the additional download for instant customer this for the quick support version. And then after that, you're gonna end up with this. Hey. Then you're gonna end up with this. Come on, it's too slow. Then, if you're set up, which you should set up and say and click run to end up with this Team Viewer 10. And you're also gonna get up with this Team Viewer o o QS to me, but should be OS. So, to actually control your Android device from your PC, you got to take your Android device. Run the team viewer as you shall see from here. So, if you want to control the Android device, you need OS Quick Sport on your Android device, and you also need to uh, right, uh, you need to open team viewer 10 on your PC. There, as you can see, Team Viewer is opening right now, and okay, there. Now this, you should enter your partner's ID, which is now gonna be this, which is like, as you can see, it's it should be. Uh, 383 405 163 in my case. Okay, there. Now, if you want to go, you could control your, your Android device from remote control, but but also could do some file transferring. But with this instant, I'm going to do remote controlling. As you can see, you don't need to do anything, just click connect to party. Gonna say incoming connection down there, and you should allow it. And you shall see it's gonna go and sorry, come in there. And then you're gonna see that, and you can also send messages with this. Now, you, now the board bit. You should click this on the on your uh, PC, and you should and it should say remote control. And for that, you should allow, and you could control it. Guys, thanks for watching and goodbye.